What's going on guys welcome to the first episode of my NHL 21 be a pro career series I know we started this in NHL 20 never made it out of the first episode That's gonna be different this year though as obviously they actually have story elements to it now tons of different cutscenes dialogue I'm very excited to play this uh, if you guys are excited to see this leave that thumbs up All right, so now you can start in Europe, which obviously they're showing there It's pretty cool starting the CHL as always or starting the NHL But then you miss out on getting drafted which is like one of the best parts so a uh, cool little montage there to start us off. I thought we were actually just going to uh, jump into some pond hockey and I don't know. Agent oh, Taylor here we go. Mackey joins us here on the line who represents the hottest, most anticipated prospect in years. Taylor, give us the 411 on the kid here. Hey, morning, James. Well, look, you may not believe this, but the kid's up here on Carter Lake. What? Playing pickup. Yeah, with a bunch of other kids. Just, it's a beautiful day. Pricey pond hockey you got going there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose it is. But look, that's how much this kid loves the game, man. Well, just safety first up there. Now, of course, I, I got to ask you, we, we've seen the scouting reports. We've seen the highlights, but we know about the player. But tell me more about the person. What's this rookie really like? Yeah, sure, James. Uh, let's begin by telling your listeners at home the kid's name. All right. So now we get to uh, choose our name and everything. I was thinking about this. Uh, so I'm thinking we're going to go first name Tick and last name Tack. Tick Tack. I don't know what else to do. That way too, it's essentially like my nickname on the back of the jersey. Uh, position, I'm thinking for sure forward. Um, I guess we'll go center, that way we're taking the draws, hopefully on the puck a bit more. Uh, second position, yeah, we'll go left wing, left handed for sure. Uh, jersey number, I usually rock 94, my birth year, so tack 94, I like the look of that. And choose play by play name, my name's actually in the game. Uh, I got put in the game last year, so this is kind of sweet. Tactics, uh, I still love seeing that. So player details here, already mentioned I'm left handed. Um, height, real life, I'm 5'10", in the NHL game, we'll say 5'11", give us an extra inch. Uh, weight, I'm like 160. I was looking it up though, Matthew Shane's 5'11", 195, so maybe that's a good height and weight to help us make a fast player here. Uh, fighter, we'll say rarely. Um, August 26th, my birthday. Windsor should be in here, I remember back in the day it wasn't, and then actually it got added like NHL 13 or 14. Ah uh, yeah, Windsor is there, so that's pretty cool. And then Canada, of course. 20 minutes later. All right, guys, so after like 20 minutes, I finally created my player here. Uh, you can see we got the aqua visor. I think that's like one of the coolest ones, like the blue teal tint. I uh, decided to go with like a different company for every piece of equipment since you know, we're just got jumping into the NHL. We're not sponsored yet. So I got like a Bauer helmet, warrior gloves. I think I have a true stick. Uh, CCM skates, which I think are dope. They're like blue and pink, have kind of like a retro vibe to them. I just think that looks so cool. And you can see I kind of went with like a light blue theme here with the skates, the stick. We got the candy cane tape job, same color on the blade, the visor, of course. Just kind of match my logos. Everything else is black, so I figured black and light blue worked out perfect. He's also got the mouth guard hanging out there. Uh, if you want to see what his face looks like for cutscenes, I feel like I got the hair pretty close, honestly. Like it's going to the sides, it's got the same little like piece sticking up. Uh, I don't know about the actual face. That's pretty tough. I'm actually supposed to like get my face in game at some point. I got scanned, but hasn't happened yet. Uh, honestly, for Sully's, Archer is one of my favorite. It's like the first one there. So uh, we'll go with that. And then behaviors. This is actually new. So shot style isn't new. I decided to go with five there for the regular shot. And then one time I'm going with style nine, which kind of looks like Stamkos uh, down on one knee. Now the skating style is new. I think there's just like too much here. Might play around with this a little bit. All right, guys, so I just play around with this for a little bit. I feel like no matter what I do, he's just gonna look like a goober out on the ice, but um, I try to make him look as fast as possible skating. Uh, like you can see, I got Hustle Style 3 actually. This seemed to be like the one where he was kind of going the hardest. Uh, basically, I made it look like when we're hustling and when we're skating, he's gonna be going hard. Now, the two hand animation, that one's kind of weird. Like, no matter what I did, it looks like his elbow is kind of dislocated there, so. Just left it the same. And this is cool, you can actually use the pro you created in World of Shell. I was thinking I was gonna have to redo all of this again for World of Shell, so that's nice to know. Um, sniper, Playmaker, Power, Two-Way, Grinder, Enforcer. I feel like it's definitely gotta be Sniper or Playmaker. Honestly though, for BF Pro, I feel like you gotta go Sniper. You just can't trust the computers to score for you. Plus, Obi there, of course, the cover guy, Lemieux behind him, that's kinda cool, so. It's our story. We want to try and, you know, score as many goals as possible. So start the Memorial Cup, start in Europe, which is new, or start in the NHL. Obviously, we want to get drafted. I've started the Memorial Cup many times before. I'm thinking we start in Europe. I'm um, kind of go like the Austin Matthews route, I guess. Player draft here in Europe. I'm thinking, too, if we can choose them. I was going to say, I want to be Falunda, because top players, Lucas Raymond, the Red Wings just drafted fourth overall. So pretty cool, I think, if I get to play with Lucas Raymond. So here we go, guys. Tic Tac, number 94, center sniper, shoots left. 
plays for the Fulanda Indians, start career. I think it's just default game studying, so like all-star game style three, which I think probably fine for this. Superstar might be a little bit tough, obviously. I want to still have some fun. So this is pretty cool, guys. You can actually see your players sitting there in the locker room. I uh, started out at 68 overall. Personality starts out at neutral. Obviously, our decisions will change that to like friendly or, I don't know, fiery, whatever the opposite would be. A uh, thousand followers, that's kind of cool. I got like 20k on Twitter. We'll see if we can uh, pass me in real life. Sim to next game, sim to next big event. So maybe you can sim to just like, you know, your last game before the draft or something. I think we'll just start off with the first game here against Mannheim. I think Tim Stutzla is on Mannheim, so it should be a cool first game. Talking to the coach, I like it. So much better than years past. Uh, so you're on the verge of being drafted in the NHL. When you get drafted, it depends on how well you do in this tournament. Uh, so go out there and impress the scouts. Um, neutral, neutral, neutral. I mean, I guess we'll just go with that one if it's all neutral. It said, don't forget to build up your personal brand along the way. I did see you can actually like buy stuff, but uh, let's get a game here. Now it's showing us the likability meter. So the answers you choose will impact your player's personality. Uh, you have brand, management, teammates. Um, I feel like I'm gonna worry most. I guess look, let's try and get all three high, but it's probably not gonna happen. Uh, I know you can like promise you'll score a goal if you do. The coach is happy. If you don't, he's not. Uh, I want to talk to you regarding the first tournament game. Team Star. Should we just go for like uh, Danny Healy 1507? All about me. Um, <laughs> I don't know who would actually say my top priority is getting drafted first overall. I feel like that'd be a little bit realistic. I'm getting achievement already. Sure thing, Skip. Just talking to the coach. Management likes me. I feel like you gotta like act like you're a good team player before you get drafted, help you get first overall. Then once you're first overall, then you can kind of be cocky once you've established yourself a bit more. All right, so James Sabelski was just talking about how we're playing against men here. If we do well, obviously it's going to improve our draft stock. Our challenge is to win the game. I think we should be able to do that. Uh, so select game experience here. We got quick five minute periods, one to two shifts per period. Mediums three to four shifts. Real time seven to eight. I feel like, you know, I want to actually be able to play through it. Although quick's probably not quite enough to actually, you know, score or whatever. So let's go, let's go medium. I'm assuming, you know, if it feels too long or too short, we can change it later on. All two, the new uh, versus screen is pretty sick. You got the players there, the black with the logos. I like that. All right, so we're not on the first line. That's all right. We're just going to stand to our next shift. I'm not going to sit on the bench the entire time. All right, so there we go. We're on the ice. I don't know if Lucas Raymond's on our line, but that would be kind of sick if he was. Oh, and I just realized I forgot. This is my first actual game on NHL 21. I'm offside already. Uh, I haven't actually played a hot game or anything yet. I gotta turn all the visual stuff off. So for the camera, guys, I'm gonna try dynamic medium. I think default it's dynamic low, which is really low for me. I'm used to playing on overhead, but be a pro, obviously, you wanna be a bit lower the ice, it's cooler. And then for on ice trainer, I left on pass suggestions, offside warning, defensive positioning, as I feel like those three things can actually kind of help you out, maybe. Uh, the rest of it, I feel, just gets in the way. Takes possession of the puck off the draw. Gottenberg's on the attack. Just trying to get a pass there. The guy didn't want to give it to me. I feel so slow. 68 overall. Plus in Europe, you're on the bigger ice. The Eagles move it in. He got all of that hit. Gottenberg's got the puck behind the net. Grabs it at his own end. Here we go. We got the puck. Lost it. Give it back to me. Come on. Where's my D-man? So this is harder because you can't actually see everything not on overhead. But I kind of like it because it's more realistic. I remember saying, I think, I thought it'd be really cool to get like a first person Cameron via pro, so I kind of like that, I'm able to see everything. I just saw Tim Stutzla was out there too, so pretty cool. Oh, come on, give me the spin. Oh, I'm in nasty. I feel like the scouts had to see that one. Oh, here we go, I'm just going to take this. Ooh, a little high. Nice try. Oh, you actually have like tweets popping up on the bottom of the screen. That's pretty cool. Ooh, I almost went off. My guy's bent over so far, but I thought, you know, make him look faster. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, nice keep. Oh, I lose it. I like to, like, I can hear him say tactics in game. It's pretty sweet. Nice pass. Oh, I thought someone would have put that in. <laughs> Go for the Datsuk flip in the CHL tournament. You gotta love it. So we're in the second period now. Uh, coach just tapped me on the shoulder. Don't stop now. Alright, I'm gonna guarantee us a goal. <laughs> Hopefully I can come through. Hopefully it gives me, you know, the whole game and not just this next shift. We're on the power play, so we have a really good chance. 
The Indians win the draw. I won the face off. I wonder, like, if I'm on the ice for the goal, does that count as, you know, being part of it? Or do I literally have to score it myself? Alright, come on. Bigger ice is nice. You have so much room. Oh, I had a chance. Come on. The was out of position. Do I go for the... Ooh, we're all over him. Still got me out here, okay. He wants that goal. We're gonna pull a Kovalev shift five minutes till we get one. The Indians will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, there we go. I'm on the ice for it. Hopefully uh coach counts that. Oh I was supposed to go off but he gave it right to me. Oh, that's not good. We just got another one as I get off, okay. Well, how did that puck go right through me? Out there for a goal. That's not good. Aw. I was pressing RT to call for the pass, then just <laughs> forgot to cancel it. Oh no, are we getting in a fight first game? Alright. Uh, I don't remember the last time I fought in one of these games, because who actually fights? Oh, I'm not a fighter. I'm going to get manhandled. But, you know, I got a heart. Oh, just just the spam? Just the spam? Oh, he's done. Let's go. I mean, we fight, we uh, score. Let's get the Gordie Howe hat trick. I don't think we have an assist or a goal yet, but let's try it. I got ejected for the fight. <laughs> well, all right. I guess that's it for our game. Um, you need to play smarter. I, I thought it was just a five-minute major, but I guess CHL, you get ejected for the game for a fight. Good to know. But, I mean, we're up 2-1. Hopefully, the team can hold on to the win. That was, like, the main objective. So just in the rest of the game, guys, as you can see, we're able to hold on there to a 3-1 win, which is nice because that was the main objective. Uh, didn't score a goal, but we were on the ice for a goal when he wanted one. Got a big fight, you know, motivate the boys. Hopefully uh, that was enough to impress the coach. Can't complain what you did out there. Okay, so that's good. Um, happy to hear that. So looking at our performance here, you can see C plus overall. Uh, we were minus one there, one shot, one hit, one four face-offs. Also won our fight, I don't see that mentioned there. Player growth is actually really cool. Everything went up except for senses, minus seven. That's not really too bad. Uh, followers plus 800, obviously everyone loves a good fight. And right here guys, we're talking at the post-game press conference with the reporter. Uh, great game for you, what can you say regarding performance? Um, I'm more like I can have one of these days. Let's go with that, Brand likes it. Anyone can, what do you think about your teammate's performance? Um, I can't use charm. Apparently you have to unlock that again. That's something like kind of fall out. I think we can all perform better after a 3-1 win. Wow, my guy's an asshole. Brand plus 25, management minus 25. You're like, that makes a lot of sense. Now before we get into our next game, guys, I quickly wanted to show you the salary perks here. So this is kind of what you can buy, which is pretty cool. Compact car, plus one agility, minus one balance. So the stuff you buy actually affects you know, on the ice, which is pretty cool. The sports car there. Uh, specialization point, bicycle, sailboats, uh, just tons of stuff there for vehicles, property, you got apartment, beach houses, recording studio, lake house, a hotel room, uh, just random things here, collectible art, like something from Rome, uh, different furniture, assistant, accountant, personal chef, driver, lawyer, uh, this is bodyguard, plus one body check, plus two defensive awareness, that's pretty sweet, photographer, stylist, um, a stockbroker, money manager, uh, you can invest in clothing brand, mutual funds, a cologne, apps, uh, you can make donations as well. So um, this is really, really cool. Um, again, I like the fact that you can buy something that actually affects your on-ice performance. Not the most realistic, but otherwise there'd basically be no point to it. Now you can work towards a $3.7 million beach house, uh, get a few extra points there, you know, go out and get the luxury cars. So definitely like that. Um, also too, guys, we have our skill tree here. We actually have um, a couple trait points. So right here, guys, looking at specialties, I feel like I'm going to add the long-range shooting. Uh, that way we just kind of shoot from all over the ice. Hopefully, you know, increase our chance of scoring. As, again, we're a sniper, so uh, we want to try and put the puck in the back of the net. And on that kind of same thought, wrist shot power. Let's boost it up. Let's try and get some goals. Marksman, wrist shot, hand slap shot. We'll buy both of those. Again, we're just 
uh, pure sniper here. But I think that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Uh, we'll start the next one with the next game. We're actually playing an aggregate series here against Mannheim, so you guys know how European soccer works. Uh, it's the same sort of rule set, but um, we'll play that one at the start of the next episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Honestly, I'm already liking Be A Pro so much more than years past. Uh, if you guys did, I'll leave a thumbs up. If you guys have any ideas at all for this series, I'll leave your suggestions in the comments below. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.